and I never know what to say and I just start talking. Okay. So here I am standing in front of my house looking at what they are doing to it and I'm like, oh, it's, it's a shame. It had, it was a, it was a Queen Anne Victorian with a lot of beauty saying, look, I am here and it's, oh, thank you. And it's, and it's, it's uh, being gutted. It had antique light pictures in there, the, the work in the shades of the, the reproduction one, the colleague group, the other ones too. And I couldn't retrieve those light pictures because I didn't have anybody to do electrical uh, that was with me at the time we were leaving. Uh, I'm trying to survive. As Heidi said, I'm at a, a, a hotel where I pay a daily rate, uh, but right now it's on hold. There's, uh, we're trying to work together with the, the owner of the hotel to, uh, to, well, like this week I don't pay anything. And we're working on the, another agreement for next month after this first week uh, because of the discovery of the bed bugs. And because I have a big mouth and I was doing a lot of bed bug research and I was going to go to the Department of Public Health and the Department of Public Works, I was going to try to book at the hotel if they didn't do something, so they did something, so we to another location, which is better, quieter, more peaceful, and the, the, the daily rent is less, and I will change my renter's rights. After being there for 30 days, renter's rights, I retain them. And so I have a letter from the owner stating, thanks to Tiny, who helped us work on that and helped him word the letter and has been supporting me ever since. I called out to her and said, help. And Tiny, you're great. All the poor magazine crew, okay. all of us. Yeah. Thank you.